Greeting YouTube vloggers, or YouTube viewers, I should say. Uh, today we're on episode 10 of our Portuguese Utopia series, and this one is entitled Stones and Kitchen Sink. It all sounds a bit weird, but uh, it's okay. It's about uh, our attempt to dig the floor out of the barn and move tons and tons of brick rubble out of the way and stone and dust and muck, etc., which I seem to be doing a lot of over there whenever I'm over there, but uh, there's such a lot of it, it's got to be done on a regular basis. We are getting near the bottom of that one, thankfully. Um, this one starts with us um, at Castelo Branco. Uh, we have to wait to get the, pick the car up. Uh, then we move on to doing some bits and bobs of the house. There is some bits of us in Castelo and there's some bits of us near the end in Lisbon, but I will try and do a full one. Um, on Lisbon at some point. I'm getting near the end of my clips of film up to date and with sad news over the weekend that um, the travel restrictions with regards to Covid and Portugal, we didn't get to Portugal at all 2020 um, and it looks as though 2021 the biggest chunk of it's going to be wiped off so I'm only living on my memories at the moment uh, which is damn frustrating I'll tell you. The only plus side is that I'm getting ever nearer in my retirement and with the COVID injections, etc. We should all be safely over the other side, given time and sense. Um, and that's all I can wish for and pray for. Um, I'm running out of video clips to put on it with it. So there's only going to be this one and one more um, before I'll call it a day with, well, with the films over across the water but I shall still put one or two up with the plans and things I'm doing in England that relate to being over there uh, there is some bits I've been filming bits I've been making up etc uh, to take over there heating system uh, battery and I've got quite a bit of footage of the battery and solar setup which I'm attempting to do when we get over there uh, there will be some uh, food drawings and plans and sketches, which I've found. Uh, there's a nice couple there, Stephen Gale, Hemmings. Uh, I'm sure they won't mind me giving them a little shout out, but unfortunately, the plans that we that they've kindly done for me, um, they never materialised because Steve, because of an older age, I'm sure he won't mind me saying that, and uh, with that comes fragility. He thought that the physical side of it all was a bit probably a bit too much, a bit too much of a project to do. Um, so I'm having to do, well, I took, the, I took the decision, I'm going to try and do what I can myself. And with regards to trying to get uh, tradesmen over there, I've seen it on other people's videos and whatnot. Some people have more luck than others with it. Uh, I've been going over there three, four years. Buying materials isn't an issue, but getting someone to come and look at the job, quote on it, this sort of thing. It seems so long-winded to get some answers that it becomes a bit frustrating. I know they have a different um, attitude over there. I mean, yeah, and that's why we go over there because we want the attitude, oh, I'll leave it, we'll do it another day. But when you're on a time scale of going over there for a week at a time, you really want to be getting everything done when you can. When you're there, I'm planning for the next one. I think on one or two of Cindy's Video, she's shown a bit of frustration that you know you, you go and order something or you go and arrange to meet someone and then three hours later they casually turn up or, or you get a phone call saying no, I can't make it today uh, probably part of, in on my part I'm learning as I get older that you've got to be a bit more patient and tolerant with things uh, and it'll case around throughout it'll be what it'll happen when it happens it's like I could really get well, I'm, I'm a little bit frustrated, but I could really get wound up about not being, being able to go out over there. But it's the same for everyone else, so we'll just get on with it. Um, right, so I'm going to just let you get on and watch this bit of film. I've had one or two comments about the quality of the, the filming. Now, unfortunately, with my filming techniques, or lack of them, uh, it's a learning curve all the way. And some of my footage was done in... Um, 
portrait mode and when it's come up it's left it in the middle of the screen now I don't like looking at that it's not particularly pretty but I do realize that after all this time that just by turning your phone around to landscape and filming that way um, everything's all right or it is with my video editing suite etc um, so I'm hoping after this one that everything should be all right because I've had problems and I've put bits clips in that come in portrait really now we're in the middle of the screen which isn't the, the Christmas one there's one or two bits in there which in this day and age people are just not patient enough to to persevere with it but these are all like I've said many times these are for my own use really um, to, to keep everything in today um, so persevere with them or fast forward past them but it's the the bits that that most people are interested in is actually the house and not me so um, where I can I've tried to put as much footage in of, of that and as they go on there'll be, there'll be some more footage in the future obviously and now I know what looks good and comes out reasonable I can carry on with that one because I should be doing it for the public now and your entertainment rather than just some clips and photos for myself but I do put other bits in the film purely because I at the moment I'm only doing one one episode if you like of all the footage from that particular holiday or visit now I'm doing that for a personal thing so there's bits on there of me being entertained or even on the flight or even getting in the car to come to there because it, it I like a beginning a, mid, a mid, middle and an end when I do a, a video of myself you know it might be in the future and a little bit more time on my hands that I can cut them back down just for your personal viewing um, and, have a, and have another one, an episode one and episode two for my private use, not on YouTube, but I don't know about that yet, it's, it's so time consuming making them. Uh, pass a comment because if you're not interested in them bits, I'll, you know, I'll cut them right down and it'll only be purely totally on the house thing, but I've found looking at other people's um, YouTube vlogs and whatnot, you get to know the people a bit more as well if, when they put some of the funny bits in and the comments and their animals and things like that so um, like I say I'm learning as I go along um, please put comments on to make it a bit more interesting for me and for you so we'll leave it at that um, I'll catch up with you on another day stay safe and we'll see you, see you another day thanks for watching bedroom second day we're here had a bit of sun today I don't know if you can see on my face or not the boys have uh, gone to Malpico to get some materials we've been down to Babiedo had a look round there I've been to the bank uh, done some bits there uh, what else have we done today not a lot really we haven't picked the cow up till dinner time, so we're, we've had to stay in Castello. I'll have a quick look around the room. It's quite, uh, quite basic. But we've had a room apiece this time round, instead of doubling up. There's our view. It's six o'clock at the moment and we're I'm just waiting for the lads to come back because we're supposed to be eating here tonight again. We did do last night. We should put a very nice meal on. Oh, a slice of cake as well for my birthday. And tomorrow we start in earnest. Well, the first real day of doing any work down here, we did come yesterday, but we only had a look to see what we could get up with. We've got a fairly big task ahead, but the weather is so hot at the moment, I'm going to just flick round to show you. I don't know if we can pick that up or not, but that's reading 30.6 degrees C. And this is 2.08 in the afternoon. Now, 
I'm now going to come inside to do some work because it is a bit cooler in here but I will explain we now drop down to 23.6 degrees this is inside ground floor now if I remember right I've got a thermometer going in the upstairs because I wanted to gauge the temperatures at different times of the day and at different rooms This is dark upstairs, I don't know if I'll be able to read it here or not. Just have to bring it to a bit, a bit more light. But... Now this one's reading 24.4. So it's a bit strange, different areas or different temperatures. I'd expect this to be a bit warmer than that, to be honest with you, being an upstairs one, but it suits me, it's livable at 24.4. And for how much hotter it gets, but we'll gauge that during the week. Right, I'll get on and do another couple of hours. Well, nothing to show really at the end of today, but I assure you, I've been busy. This pile of ooh, the old floor, it was a lot bigger than this when I started, but it looks like a bomb site. But all of this has got to go this week. But while I'm waiting for the electrician to plumb us in, as it were. I thought well I'll get on with that and the temperatures today have been 30 so I've had to come indoors a little bit to to do that but we've still still got plans to get this done under the stairs and I've got to I've got to dismantle this wiring before the electric board put us on or else I should be in trouble because obviously that don't look very safe does it and then we're, uh, we've got the toilet in situ, we've got the bidet in situ. That and that and that, we may be changing the plans on where we're having them. So I'm not really doing anything to, to them yet, but it'll be done before, before we finish here. Right, I think that's going to do because it's. Where are we? 5 5.48. 5 5.48, and the lads are next door, they've been busy, so we're all ready to call it a day. Go get a bit of scram. So I'll report back tomorrow. I don't know, you come home from a hard day's work, ready for a kid, you come to this round. Well, can't be, we've got to join them. Quick show, we can see what's happening. Some party, something going on. Oh, down there. Oh, you got them past. Oh, look at the lambs. Hey, they're all right, they're chewing the grass up down the side of the car. Yeah. As you can see, it's 27 degrees, and it is. 20 to 6 of an evening. Today I've mostly been moving rocks. I'll show you. This is all of our rocks. This 
sheep is uh, helping to cut our grass, thankfully. Saves me having to do it. Ha <laughs> ha. This is day two of back breaking work. It had a look so I've made headway, but I have. It's going to be another two days work at work, work there, I think at least. But it's got to be done, so we just soldier on. Well, no filming today because I've uh, basically forgot to. It's about half five now. We've come back to the apartment. Most people are getting scrubbed up, ready to go out. Didn't go out last night. Uh, today we've been doing a lot more mucking out, but we've had the electrician in today and he's, we're switched on officially with electric now, which is going to make life a lot easier on a day to day anyway. But I can get the electric tools moving now. So I can get on again. Uh, concreting, done another bit of concreting under the stairs and a bit down the side. Um, Kenny's been busy next door. Uh, tomorrow we're open to sort the bathroom out plumbing wise. I've I've got the toilet to it doesn't leak as in when you've uh, let the water goes down because I've got to concrete the U bend in place but I need to check that it won't gonna leak which it doesn't thankfully. Um, I should be plumbing up the other bits and bobs tomorrow and hopefully get a bit of footage on it. Now we've got light down there or electric I'm gonna set up some better internal lights because it's pretty dark in there even with the lights that the, the Portuguese have in so I'm going to put string a few more eye powered bulbs in I think and we'll let, let you have a look tomorrow okay that's it for today Boa tarde today is I've lost track the third I think it's Friday today isn't it uh, right today I'm going to show you what we've been up to I'll just turn this around so I can see where I'm going Right, we know the loo works, we, although it ain't got any obvious tank yet, but it goes where it's supposed to, out the pipe, and it doesn't come out the side. So we concreted that in today, yesterday, big pod. This piece of concrete in which wasn't done, a strip all the way down here to the corner, was done yesterday. As was this section under the stairs. Not very good light in there. I tell you what, let's now we've got electric, let's put it on. Yeah, what about that, eh? And that one. Look at that. That's better, isn't it? Right, we'll say again. Right, that concrete was done yesterday. Today we've fixed the stairs. It's broken. Do to worm there, just there. So we've put two bits of metal in there to start with. That beam will have to be replaced at some point, but I want to get uh, this concrete and that under the stairs. Don't come out again. And this little piece down here that was done today. That step there we made yesterday was a, a failure because it uh, got snapped off. The new meter, now that we have electric. Ta -da. So the stairs, although they're not perfect, they are more than usable and they will be fixed correctly at some point. Going into the main room up here. I haven't done anything here apart from make a mess. I'm going to attempt to get the sink fitted in a unit but it won't be plumbed in properly but at least it allows us to do the dishes properly because it's a bit of a pain. The one thing that has happened today is the fridge is up and running and there's my rations for when I'm left here the day after tomorrow I'm on my own for a week so I've got to make sure I've got enough rations. Oh and then batatas and a boiled egg. Going into the original small bedroom with the wall knocked out. The old fridge that doesn't work. The second bedroom with the wall knocked out and the dodgy light switch. But it does come on. 
and this old smoke room which is what it always is with its light on and the fireplace and as you can see we're all getting a bit uh, cosy again now we're getting a bit more civilized anyway at least I'll put my lights off as I go and Kenneth took Kenneth took the boys back to Castello he's going to Malpico to pick some wood up from his old house and he's coming back he's borrowed some of my electric because he needs to saw up in the loft at his house so that goes across there to his house there's a view from our window and that way Pedro's orange tree which he says we can help solve to so I tend to pinch one a day Get my vitamin C. Right now tomorrow I should be looking at hopefully sorting the bathroom and making a bedroom. Right now back downstairs because I'm in the middle of doing a job but I thought I'd do my daily report a bit earlier today. I forgot to take some pictures the other day. Right so where we are at the moment, tomorrow this is all going to be sorted I hope. Obviously I can't do anything this side for a couple of days till it dries out but uh, we'll take it as red that uh, went far away with it all. Now I'll go back into the barn. Oh I did do a bit of arty farty work here which uh, don't know if it work or not really but uh, these stones, that step was too big a step in one piece, so I've, I've halved it and I've put some pretty stones in there which hopefully when it dries out should look alright. Small step, step there, and this is where we've got to and at the moment. All that pile of brick rammel has been, well I've halved it, but it's been took outside here and over the wall out the back there, which I think I've shown you before but I've got to muck all that lot out to get to that lot in the corner because that brick rammel there, a lot of it wants to get over this side and I can't see the point of taking it outside to bring it back in again so I've got to muck out, move that out of the way and bring that over there to this side and make some form of level and then it's all got to be concrete and then it's all got to be tiled but they're jobs for later there's a lovely see-through where it's to our advantage at the moment having that big gap there because it gives us some light right I must proceed because that lot there when I've mucked it out it's all old pig muck and donkey muck and whatever and straw about 100 years old I've mucked one lot out last year but uh, I've got to get some more because I've got to get the floor level where I want it it seems to be muck, stone and straw and all sorts of weird and wonderfuls. We do get the occasional little bits of interest. Objet da, which obviously we will clean and save and make a little feature. And there's one for Chris, he'd be interested in that one. An old rusty old motor oil tin. But isn't it quaint? Alright then, well I've got to get back to work and I'll uh, I'll report in again tomorrow. Good day. It is Sunday today. Starting of the second week. We've mucked out, took the beds down to the stairs because that's where the bedroom's going to be. Today I'm attempting to try and make the kitchen more livable and usable because it's a bit of a pain doing things off worktops etc. Or chests of drawers as it were. There's a lot of unit doors and shelving. We've got to try and make all that and a sink. Try and put all that together, make some carcass in to make life a bit easier on a day to day. So I will see you in a few hours time, hopefully with a bit of a change to it. Well, what started out a potentially easy job has 
shouldn't have become 10 times earlier because I found an hole in the floor so I've had to take the worst of the rot out try and find some wood to replace it and it's all landed in the shower tray below I've managed to find some wood that is stronger floorboards are about 30mm thick so I've got to get on with that before I can uh, carry on with the cabinets but it's soon time for dinner anyway so I'll, I'll just try and get this one finished and have a bit of dinner then carry on where I left off last time right an hour on or thereabouts and we have the floor patched up they damaged on it to prove that it's sound it won't be seen anyway because it'll be under a cabinet but uh, at least uh, it's got it uh, that bit of uh, dry right out of the way should outlive me anyway right time to have a bit of dinner Bless her, 94 and she's still going strong. The lady that gave me some lettuce yesterday. Although before. Well, there we are, my first night here. I haven't even made the bed yet. I just sent Cassie a message. Wishing her a good night. I've been trying to try and make some units up. I've got a basic sink organised there but everything's in the way but now it's 8.53 first time I stopped today and I'm now I haven't even made the bed yet not as in made the bed as in literally put the bed together yet but the need for food has overtook me so it's fish fingers now I've understood how to do it and we will take it from there and I will see you in the morning. Right, a very quick guided tour because unfortunately time's running out. So I'll show you what I've done and what we've got. You may recognise some of these bits, Cathy. As you can see, when I've emptied the boxes got quite a lot of stuff here gathered up get all six because the lighting could I've had to take the shutters off the windows to fit the sink in Electric cooker, gas ob, working. Fridge freezer, working. Electrics. Electrics. Right, there's the. Uh, I haven't had a chance to put it together, but it goes in there, obviously. Not bad day tonight. Right, this house, this half is, I've been using it just for storage and putting things together. But until the man comes, I can't decide whether we're going to have these walls out or not. Yeah. Right. 
So the kitchen, the kitchen area is virtually virtually done with regards to making it work. And we have to we have to fetch the water in by hand, obviously. I swept through virtually every day, but there's always a load more that comes, isn't there? Right, what we've done in here and what we haven't done. Toilet. That was a vent pipe all the way through to the loft. Toilet. We still haven't sussed this yet properly, but B day there. The sink isn't going to go in that doorway. That doorway is going to be blocked off, but a window. But as you can see, we need it. The daylight is the problem here. We don't get enough of it in the house. So from this way on, we have the bath. And the shower is now going here. Okay. Bedroom one, if you like, under the eaves. Bedroom two, this is where I've been sleeping, but I think I'm going to spin the bed round again. Because you've got to get in that doorway. And it sticks out a bit here, you can get by, but if the headboard goes that end, it brings it across and in, if you get for me. This can use all that space up. That bed's there, uh, ready to go, just give me some ideas. Uh, haven't done a lot out here other than try to bring that muck pile down a bit which I have done but there's some tonnage still to move across I want to bring it across this side try and get the level out a bit more if I can get that muck pile down over there different levels then in here so we've got the old uh, I'm going to leave that there now because that's secure for the time being. Right, and that's it. Sorry there haven't been much footage, but it's been muck and muscle. I mean, I've nearly had enough. But it'll soon be sorted. Next visitation, we we'll crack on again, don't we? That was, uh, that was the underfloor concreting that we got done this week. All that's done because it's cluttered up at the moment with equipment, so you can't get a good view of it, but it's done anyway. Right. Better just have a quick look outside. Pedro's had some new fencing put all the way down here. This is our little room in Lisbauer. This is Mick. He's worked like ten men this week. <laughs> this is Steve. He's at like ten men. <laughs> Sorry, Steve, I'm joking. And Kenny, no doubt, will be mashing tapes up. Because that's and doing his beans. Yeah. And this is our Lisbauer nightlife. Well. It's early afternoon really. Oh there's a tram down there look. Two trams from the yellow bus company. I'm going to open the window boys. I don't know where we are. We'll have to, we'll have to look at the map. It's warm.
Just press it again, Steve. Press it again, stop, yeah, when you've had it. Put cup right in. Put cup right in. Put cup right in.